I think it helped me a lot with trying to get my story um, really going in. The part that I've been most worried about was writing my essays and telling my story about what I've accomplished, my journey to business school and all of that. And I think personal MBA coach really helped me articulate that. Um, I think especially for me, a lot of the times I was more focused on what my whole team had accomplished or what we had done collectively. And it really helped me refine the, uh, my essays to focus on what I had particularly contributed to and what I had add value and what I would bring to business school. In terms of how I framed my journey and why I want to go to business school, that impacted a lot. Um, going in, I had known I wanted to go and um, move from finance, which is the industry I'm currently in and move into tech. Um, but Working with MBA coach on things like the goal statement really helps me um, better define what that meant. Like what kind of role in tech did I want? What skills in business school did I think would help me? It really like made me really figure out, you know, is this the right choice for me? What am I really looking to get out of business school? And I think it helped strengthen my application, but also just like afterwards as I was assigning schools, it really helped me decide, oh, what are, what are things I'm looking for? And, um, you know, made me feel a lot more comfortable making that change in my career at this time. So I had a series of different calls um, to talk through um, each of the different prompts for the schools since they had different ones and there are different experiences that I want to share for each one um, and help me think through a lot like I'm not someone who really likes talking that much about myself like it's a little uncomfortable writing about myself and that was something that I had experienced in the past as well when I was applying for undergrad um, and so helped personal me coach like talking through help me think through like what are some experiences that I have that you know, maybe I don't think they're that special like I just think oh this is every Every day like everyone does this or this isn't anything really unique to me it helps me think through like what are those things that you know maybe you don't think they're special but actually they're ones that really show what you can bring to the table and like um, as an applicant and help differentiate you so I think um, working with personal MB coach and talking through those experiences helped me identify like, what are those things that I really want to share and that are really important to me and how can I make them like really communicate how important that was to me and what kind of impact like that will bring when I go to business school. I think it kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about how um, I tend to focus a lot more on what um, my team or my group co and collectively did together. It was really thinking through um, what personal impact did I deliver? Um, because that was something that I think is not always that easy to like talk about because I think a lot of times we're talk, um, told to like, you know, it's all about collaboration, working together. And yes, that's important, but also when you're working on the um, application, you know, they're not as interested in what your team collectively did. They're interested in how you contribute to the team and that impact that it had. So that was something that I had to think through and kept in mind and I was writing the essays and also in the interview app, like interview questions as well when I was answering, I had to make sure that I was a lot more specific about like what I, did. And so I think that helped a lot when I was going through that. It was very good. Um, so going into the business school journey, I actually had not been thinking about getting an admissions consultant. I thought it was kind of expensive and it's already kind of expensive. So I was like, do I really need to spend more money on this process? But um, actually working with personal MBA coach changed my mind. I thought it helped like deliver a lot of value, like after having the calls and making sure like, I think they like really helped, um, you know, encourage me on my journey a lot and helped me guide me through the process. Like I feel like there's so many steps in the business school journey and things that maybe you're not as aware of when you're going through reading the prompts or trying to figure out how you tell your story. Um, and so I think it really changed my mind about like admission consultants and the value they bring and um, the money was definitely a good investment. It's expensive upfront, but definitely pays off in the end. Yes, would definitely recommend personal MBA coach. Have already recommended it to some of my friends who are applying uh, next year. So, um, and I would say, and mainly because I think that tells you like the best story about yourself. Like I, but you could do the application on your own. Like you could definitely do it. I think there's all like free resources out there that can help you. But like applying for business school is a one-time thing. Like if you only have one chance to do it, like why wouldn't you, after investing like all this money and time, why wouldn't you do everything you can to present like the best possible application that you can and give yourself the best chances, not only of like getting into the schools, but also getting like merit scholarships and all of that. So I feel like it's just like one more component of trying to put like the best foot forward that you can for like this one time thing that you're going to do. So definitely recommend um, doing that.
Mm-hmm. I would say take advantage of the free, like personal, comp- like the personal consultation at the beginning. It's like, um, you know, free for a reason. And I think it's like really great and helps you get comfortable with the idea of like working with people at Personal MP Coach. I think it gives you um, a good sense of like what it's actually like. I think sometimes if you look at the website or hear from things, maybe you it's harder to put yourself in that shoes and be like, okay, this is what that would actually mean. Like what kind of advice could they actually give me? And so I think having that initial call will help you get a lot more comfortable with seeing like how they can add value and help you with the things that you're concerned about specifically. Yes, so I had gone to, I applied to five schools and gone to three. Um, so I've been accepted into Yale, Columbia, and Haas. Um, I had gotten in with 14 fellowships at all three of them and merit scholarships at all three. So um, I think, so in terms of the amounts, um, I gotten 30,000 from Columbia with renewable for second year. So it would have been like 60,000 if I met the GPA requirements for the second year. Um, I got 100,000 from Yale and 105,000 from Haas. <laughs> 